So it's uh, been a while, almost a year I'd say, <clears throat> since I did my last review. Uh, so been very busy, work and everything. Um, had an outdoor climbing wall, and uh, you can see it up here in the picture. Um, but it turns out if you got a lot of outdoor rock. Whenever the weather's good, you're gonna go to the rock. So I needed a wall inside. So last February, 2016, I started looking for a house, um, one with a shed so that I can move my wall inside. Um, so I got the house. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of the shed. So this is the, the space, hopefully I'm going to move that outdoor wall into here by next winter of course. So I got the wood stove to keep it warm so that when it's not fit to climb outside we can come do reviews in here. Um, so today we're doing a, a review on a, a company from out in uh, Canmore, Alberta. Um, the owner's name is uh, Todd jo Joel. Sorry, man, if I pronounced that wrong. Um, and they're different because, well, the holds are made out of rock. So this is not a new concept, um, so I'm told. Some of the first climbing hold companies tried making holds out of rocks, but it, it for whatever reason, didn't take off. And uh, I don't know why, because to me, as a climber, novelty, the more variety I have in holds as a climber and as a setter, the better. Because I like novelty, basically. I like variety. Uh, I've talked to some setters. They don't agree. They they don't don't like the idea of them. I climb on them. I've had them now for for quite a while. I mean, we've had them up on the walls and and uh, particularly we put them on our boulder walls, right? Um, and and they're great. I mean, I love them. You know, especially in the dead of the winter, particularly anywhere that's got a lot of snow and you can't get out. <clears throat> well, these are going to be your friend if you want to get on some rock because it's pretty as it's as close as you're going to get if you can't get outside. So, um, actually, the company makes it out of different rock types. Um, this this version, I think, that they have here, they sent us uh, is granite, and I think it's Rocky Mountain granite. Um, it looks or at least it looks like Rocky Mountain Granite. I know uh, Tato was telling us that he's got, uh, um, he sources rock from all over North America. Um, so hopefully, you know, you'll be able to go in and find rock that came from the same area as your favorite climbing area. And, <clears throat> you know, you can buy holds to train for your your next climbing trip so that's the idea I mean they are heavier um, considerably heavier but I, I would still buy them personally I would still buy them because I just like having rock on the wall um, they've done some some of the holes they they've shaped so I mean the, the gripping positions like they have shaped it so that you can that each side of the hold is is is, is a good hold um, others they've left more natural um, so here's like uh, it'd be a large or an extra large size hold um, currently they have no washers in them the sandstone holds are gonna have washers in them uh, there's no pre-drilled set screws as of yet, but um, ours don't have them, but 
Uh, I talked to Todd and he said that he's going to add the pre-drill set and screws um, in all of the holds going forward. He's going to have washers in the sandstone. I personally think they should probably be in the granite too. Um, I don't know. We'll see how they wear. Uh, the sanding is good. Flush on the back. Um, so this guy is also a stonemason. So he, he shapes stone like, and that's what he does for a job or one of his jobs. He's got a few different ones. But, uh, I mean, you know, so he's doing this all the time, right? So it's pretty good. The sanding's a little bit rough on this one. I don't know what happened there. It's a little bit uneven, but I mean, overall, it's still going to sit flush. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, give you a look there at this hole. <clears throat> this one's kind of funky. Um, threw this up on our, our 50 in the gym and it is pretty gnarly and hard to hold on to. Sanding on this one is perfect. <clears throat> There's there. So I mean, you can see, like, you can get a nice. This one's good heel hook on it. Nice jog. Pinch that that way under clean. Sanding is a little bit rough on this one. Not too bad overall though, it's still, it's not like it's going to rock on the wall or nothing. So, here's another one. Jug there. Underclay. Sanding on this one again, pretty good. And here's the last one. Um, I actually think he actually had some screw-ons too that were neat little chips. I actually really think those would probably sell well, or I would buy a lot of them. Um, you know, they're great. Um, so this is the last one, and it's kind of like a nice little sloper slash pinch. Sanding again, good. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be great, great idea. You know, I'd love to be able to like buy holds from Texas made of Waco rock and then train on them before I go climb for my my next trip. You know, um, the shipping is a little bit more expensive. I mean, but like I think it might have been like. 10 or 15 bucks on all the holds so I mean it's not it's not ridiculous like it's not if you really want them then you're still going to get you're still going to go out and get them um, as a gym owner you know you're probably not going to want to put them like 40 feet in the air that being said they are or Todd tells us they're, they're stronger than than plastic holds but if it does come off you know but that that being said, I'd still use it on the first half of any sport route or um, any, I'd use it on any boulder problem in the gym too. I wouldn't worry about it one bit. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, that's going to add like a novelty, a, a variety to your, to your gym. Like, I think you should check them out. Um, you're doing a new website now, so that should be up shortly if actually it should be up by the time this post video is done so yeah
itself, which is good. Yeah, so we're gonna, I want to be organized with heart, spending the night in the shelter at the base of the floor. Yeah. 